It's great. So you're listening to BBC Introducing in York and North Yorkshire. It's session time now and what a way to end the year. We have in the studio two gentlemen who it's fair to say have absolutely rocked my world uh, with their tunage and it's an honour and a privilege to have the saxophones here to blow us away. Boom, 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 boom. And with this is their first track, The Mother of New Funk.
sit down, please, 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 come sit down, come sit down, come sit down, and welcome, welcome, welcome to BBC Introducing in York and North Yorkshire. Please, pull up a pew, get yourselves near the mic. I am on my pew. Oh, brilliant. Now, we have Steve, say hello. Good evening. Hello there, Steve. And we have Alexander as well. Hi. Hello there. And thank you so, so much for coming all the way down to York from your spot, which is just... North Alton Way, on towards Darlow, isn't it? So, guys, tell us a bit about yourselves. About ourselves? Well, it's quite a lot, actually. Uh, well, father and son, as you can see, because obviously you can witness this where other people can't. Um, me, myself, I am Dad. This young man next to me, uh, my son, 15 years old, Alexander. Red Hot Alto players, you can hear, myself on tenor sax. Uh, we've been, um, well, since obviously he's progressed up from his playing, um, we've kind of started putting some songs together enjoyed being outside busking which a lot of people have enjoyed our playing as well um been to the fringe a couple of times which has been good fun up in edinburgh now we'll get to that in just a moment we want to just rewind a second rewind, rewind a second steve and tell us what on earth made you first pick up a sax because for most people when they're starting bands or whatever you'd think the first thing people often reach for is the guitar but no, in your case, not at all. What happened? What, what started your love affair with the saxophone? Well, I wanted a guitar. My parents wouldn't buy one because they just said it was going to be loud. So, uh, saxophone, really, it was ska. Ska music, that's what did it for me. Um, you know, bands like Madness, Bad Manners, Specials, Selector. They all had a good horn section, so that's what did it. And uh, first group, after, after getting a saxophone, I got a saxophone when I was 16. Uh, I only had it two weeks and I was in a band playing these songs and learning them from here, from record. God, do you remember records? Actual oh, it's best way, vinyl. Vinyl. The yeah. smell. The smell, the sleeve, the full thing. Yeah, so there I was, uh, learning all by uh, record, needle backwards and forwards, and, and, and wore many of them out, learning all these songs from here. And uh, great times playing in scar bands, and then it just evolved from there to other groups, and one thing or another, and you know, here we are today. And here you are today, and Alexander, this is the perfect time to bring you in, sir. At what point did Dad, Dad Bone, get you on the old uh, sax? Um, well, I was six years old. Um, I got one for uh, a present. Um, started playing it straight away because I'd heard both my parents playing saxophone and jazz music, rock music, pop music. I thought, you know, I want to get into this. So I started saxophone, learnt it. Mostly, you know, my dad taught me and I've listened to lots of people who I think are really cool. And, uh, yeah. So you now you're at the Cheatham School of Music in Manchester, which is a pretty big deal. Do you guys get a lot of time to jam together? Uh, well, yeah, we do actually, yeah. I mean, we're just in the process 